Let's get on in a little bit here. Oh yeah. Yeah, this thing is pretty quick. It's no slash at all. No slash at all, sir. <laughs> Not at all. Pretty nice. Good afternoon everybody, welcome back. This is Pedro. In today's video, we have the opportunity to get behind the wheel of a 2022 Toyota Tundra. Uh, very excited because this is my first time that I'm gonna be driving a Tundra. I have been inside the prior generation Tundra as a passenger, but I have not experienced the thrill behind the wheel. But uh, here we have a 2022 Toyota Tundra limited model. Now this one here is a four x two model. It is done in a midnight black. Coming around here, I think Toyota did a fantastic job of redesigning this truck. It looks very good, very handsome. Uh, you know, it's an excellent uh, looking truck. I really love the way they Toyota redesigned the back here with a bit of indentation into the back here of the uh, tailgate. And we have the taillights here that are kind of elongated down south here, very, very, very vertical and sort of a very unique look to them. Coming around, guys, here really nice what Toyota did to this one. I love the big Tundra, the Tundra letters indented into the back um, door here. Really nice the way they did it. Coming around here, guys, you can see this are really, really nice looking 20 inch wheels and just an overall really nice design. I like the way that everything is. Got this is a, you see, guys, a black painted beside mirrors and your little light here for turn signals. We got the Tundra badge here and a really, really, really nice job that Toyota did with this Tundra now. Obviously, they increased the grill by quite a bit to this new 2022 20, Tundra. Uh, it's quite a huge grill. It's much, I think it's probably the biggest ones. I know, I think the Titan has also similar or something like this. Most of the trucks have a lot of big grills, but I think this is almost takes the cake. So you can see here we have a bit of, you know, kind of like a more of a tinted chrome here. That's really nice. We got a dark grayish plastic interior, plastic trim here. Big Toyota badge, Tundra here on the very front of the bumper. And uh, coming down here, we guys, we got LED fog lights. We have some of your sensors here, as you can see, the big sensor here for your active uh, cruise and all that kind of stuff that we have. Here. So we here we have the key guys here. So as you can see, we get that LED turn signal here. We got your LED lights, headlights, and of course the daytime running as well. So so really nice to what they did with it you know obviously this is the, the third generation of toyota tundra you know we had toyota tundra since 2000 uh 2000 was the first year of the tundra actually toyota did have a truck before the t100 which was the original truck they had and originally the toyota you know a little point of, of interest toyota was going to name tundra not a basically not a tundra but it was going to be named the t150 now obviously a lot of manufacturers you know naming the t150 very close to the f150 and I believe there was some sort of, you know, uh, legal matter with Ford and Toyota. So Toyota decided to just name it Tundra. So from 2000 and on, it's been the Toyota Tundra. So it's been a while, you know, since they did that, the second generation, it was late 2006, 2007. Yeah, so it's been about 15 years since Toyota did any major redesign to the uh, Tundra. So this is, you know, they did a great job with this one, as you can so see here. Checking so. out the wheels of this Toyota Tundra. These are 20 inch wheels that are part of the limited package. Really nice two-tone wheels. You can see we got some silver or aluminum and a bit of dark grayish uh, finish to the wheel. Really nice. We got four piston calipers in the front with a 13.9 inch rotor in the front, which are pretty good size, uh, you know, basically brakes. As you can see, we got some of the suspension in there and uh, really, really cool the way that looks. Really like the wheels. 
really nice design to this tundra coming back here we got the same size of wheel these are 265 millimeter tires all around 20 inch same wheels wheel we got and single we piston road of single piston brakes with a 13.6 inch rotor size here in the back so as you can see there's part of the frame and everything there it's really nice i mean toyota did a, did a great job i think right, with yeah, this so there, so. there are six trims to the uh, toyota tundra of course this is the limited this is the third one from the bottom uh, we got the SR, SR5, the Limited, you got the 1794 edition, you got the Platinum, you got the TRD Pro, and we have also the new Capstone. That's going to be the much higher trim, you know, kind of Lexus kind of trim. Let's head, uh, head to the back, guys, you know, here. So we got our key here, pretty much your standard key from Toyota. We're going to go ahead and hold to open up the tailgate as you can see we got some led lights here in the back as well so coming back to this 5.5 foot bed really nice we got some led lights as you can see all around now this house what Toyota is using these are the composite type of bed material that they have um, it's really nice and durable as you can see we do have a three prong outlet here 400 watt here for your things here connect all your tools and stuff of course the led lights and we also have a led light on top of the bed with along with some cameras too so you got a bed you guys excuse me you got a camera to see the bed as well kind of the same thing as ford you got some hooks here all around and there's all kinds of accessories you can put here on this bed i'm sure but this is pretty simple and there's no thing option like you know ford's you know advanced tailgate system with all kinds of things on it there's no step here that i see um i don't see any steps i'm not familiar with them so um obviously that we got as you can see guys we got a tundra name here on the top of the protecting totem here on top of the um, on top of the door on top of the bed door we have a little protecting that says tundra which is really nice really nice detail to that and it's not a very heavy door it's pretty light go ahead and put that on top here guys we have the Toyota badge on the door handle here we got of course a light in the camera here and you can just press it here as well to bring it down coming down here guys we got a mix of chrome and black of course with the bumper and you have your hitch here as well there is a full-size per tire underneath here and we have a your tow chain you can tow up to 12,000 pounds that's the max tow rating but this one here tows 11,350 pounds if i'm correct uh, i think the hybrid's the one that you can do 12,000 pounds uh, on the bed i i don't know never the stack guys but i think it's around 13 or 1700 pounds i'll put those stops up in the video for you guys here so you can see what's the exact number that you can put in the bed here so all right so just coming around here guys taking a look at this bed here really nice bed obviously you got a lot of protection here uh, as you can see guys we don't have no window here this is unique because the whole window comes down it's a powered uh, whole window that uh, goes down so it's kind of unique to that because almost most trucks have another little window in the middle that powers or slides or does something like that but this whole thing slides down similar to that two of the forerunner so that's a really cool detail that toyota does in their pickup all right so. guys let's go ahead and get inside of this toyota tundra really nice the way they put the materials now i mean this is still hard plastic here on top but you got a nice aluminum trim here you got a quite a mix of uh aluminum trim here that you can see plastic trim made a bit of panel trim here as well and the, of course this is soft here for your elbows here for the rear passengers but the rest of it is just all you know and a plastic material this is what you can expect of a truck and you got some you know things to put bottle bottle uh, waters and stuff like that in there so here in the middle we have the soft text seats here that we have a mix of leather and soft text these are kind of perforated as well really nice tough feeling soft text it's got a really nice pattern it's like a wide pattern really really cool kind of two-tone seats that the Toyota has given to this Tundra of course you can get optional you know more to leather seats depending on the trim and everything so these seats can also be up as well as you can see you can raise them up with some more storage ability here that's for both seats as well there and of course here we have also a center armrest that you can put some cups and stuff here it's really a simple one but at least you got some of that actual one here of course i just mentioned the window goes down we got some led lights here and of course we got the beautiful panoramic sunroof which i love i love trucks with panoramic sunroofs gives us so much more airy feeling to the trucks so of course guys we got here some of the leather seats from the front seats we got pockets on both sides and coming here we got uh cup holders little cubicle two ac uh ac uh, outlets for the air two usb connections and another three prong connection here for your connections here so very nice as you can see guys pretty roomy let's go ahead and step up the only thing, we don't have an extra step here on the bottom no accessory step you have to kind of get yourself grab at least we got some good handlebars and you gotta put yourself on top here so you grab it and get inside of this thunder so very nice the way this is as you can see the panoramic sun roof Here's all the new, uh, the way that everything's laid out, guys. Say, so really cool the way everything. This is a 14-inch screen. Everything's really nice. 
much much different and uh, very comfortable too as you can plenty of of uh, room here in this cabin this is the crew max which just gives you a little more room we got a regular double cab and the crew max this is really nice both of them got four doors except this one's much more too longer here so uh, but very nice you can see guys plenty of room inside here plenty of knee room headroom as well even with the sunroof and uh, it looks fantastic. And, uh, really we don't have nice. any seat warmers or anything like that. I'm sure that's reserved for the capstone and limited models and all that. Kind of all stuff, right, so. let's go ahead and check out the new motor of this Toyota Tundra. Let's go ahead and up up the hood and get that hood opened up and check out that V6. We're gonna pop the hood here, and at least we got some nice hydraulic shocks to help you out with the opening of the Toyota Tundra hood. So here we have a brand new 3.5 liter twin turbo V6 producing 389 horsepower and 300 389 horsepower 479 pound feet of torque uh, of course this is kind of the regular uh the, your regular motor uh there is also one that i know that they put on there uh that i think goes with the sr trim that's 348 horsepower and 405 pound feet of torque we also have a hybrid version of course with connected with the motor integrated into the transmission uh, producing 437 horsepower and 583 pound-feet of torque so that is quite a bit of a massive amount of torque as compared to the engine this, this thing is just driven it brightly has pretty good power uh, of course this has made it to a 10-speed automatic transmission and this is only driving the rear wheels this is a 4x2 model of course 4x4 is available on this tundra so uh, remember guys this, this engine is uh, you know shared with the new platforms obviously the new Land Cruiser that unfortunately Toyota is not bringing here uh, this is in the new Toyota Sequoia and I'm sure this engine is gonna get mixed into the new uh, either 4Runner or the new Tacoma in some sort of way I believe so uh, and of course you can also find this motor on the Lexus LX models on the uh, you know Land Rover Land Cruiser version of Land Cruiser version of the Lexus so, and there we go guys that huge front grille of this Toyota Tundra all right so let's go ahead and guys and get into the driver's side of this this, this Tundra Obviously, this is a little uh, bit softer right. material here for the elbows of the driver we got a bit of aluminum trim here as we just mentioned aluminum trim for the door handle and here just below the, the um, window controls we got a couple of memory seats here for your for your seats and we have all, of course all your power windows and mirrors here controls for that a little more storage here for your bottom things the eight-way power adjustable seats with two-way lumber these are the softex material you know, seats here which is leather and softex which is really cool looking material so it's the type of um, cloth material that's a little tougher and it's got a really nice pattern it's like a white pattern it's really really cool all the way they've got the seats perforated as well uh really nice design and are pretty comfortable um these both seats are heated and cooled and both seats are eight way power so both seats have the same you know adjustments and heat options and cool options so that's kind of different usually most of the time one you know usually toyota does one seat power and the, and the and the passenger seat is all normal and manual so i'm glad they did both the same things for both both seats so middle, of course we got and aluminum uh, plastic trim here surrounding the uh, air vent we have a uh, pretty you know similar plastic hard plastic on the dash we got a, a leather cover steering wheel with a bit a bit of a it's kind of a little bit of an intention the bottom and uh, of course you got the aluminum finish trim here Coming here, guys, we got after the, the door for the back. We got your lights controls, all kinds of sensor controls here to turn off. Of course, your odometer, the trip is reset, and all kinds of things are further. And we also have a heated steering wheel button, as you can see here, for the heated steering wheel. So that's pretty nice that Toyota doing it. Of course, this is a part of the limited model package, if I'm correct. So, guys, and get in. And the only thing we are missing, we are missing a side step here, either aftermarket or something factory from uh, something factory from Toyota. That'd be nice to help you a little bit of step to get in because it is a little bit high. Uh, this Toyota Tundra, so you gotta get the handle here and kind of slide yourself into the seat. All here, right, so, so we are settled here, guys, inside of this Toyota Tundra's interior. Lots of shapes, lots of materials, lots of different things that have found as Toyota has integrated into this interior. But it's like it's very nice. I just drove an F one hundred and fifty, a two twenty twenty two F one hundred and fifty this morning kind of similar uh in terms of uh not as nice as this one but uh very nice and very similar package four by two with a with a 2.7 liter v6 that ford f50 had so uh, of course it's a little bit bigger engine but really nice the way toyota has done a really good job obviously this uh this feels a little higher than the fords uh you know the, definitely the hood is much more prominent in the in the view here in the front so uh but that's part of you know what toyota does feel like a big truck to be honest uh but it's a very nice uh feeling of course of the interior 
here. The quality feels really nice too. Everything feels well tactical. We got some aluminum trim here in plastic, uh, some dark aluminum trim in plastic. We got some here as well beside the door, the, the vents. And of course we got that huge 14 inch screen. That's part of this limited model. So let's go ahead guys and get this Toyota turned on. I got the key with me here. I'm gonna head engine start stop here. And of course the seat adjusts a little bit to your liking what it was before. As you can see, you got Toyota Tundra and we got the Toyota logo here. Everything's turning on. Yes, we'll continue. So as you can see, guys, huge screen in the middle here. Uh, lots of, lots of good quality to the screen. Uh, everything turned on here now. Uh, I do have my phone here, guys. This is a wireless charging pad here as well for your phone. It's a really nice cockpit. I mean, Toyota, Toyota's done a really nice job. Considering I've been the other one, the, the, the older former third, second generation is not bad, but this is a much more, there's much more different tones and you can feel there's a little different quality to this vehicle. So, and of course this one here has the JBL um, optional stereo. There's a, a 12 speaker JBL optional stereo, which I will use for a little bit. Yeah, sounds fantastic. It definitely sounds very, very good. The quality is excellent. Let's go ahead and guys and hear that V6. So it sounds very nice. I think it, the the thing is the the, the cool the uh, it feels like the um, the fan turned on, but it sounds pretty nice. You can hear a slight bit of the whistle whistle tone, but um, really interesting the way this sounds. But uh, really nice. Let's go ahead, guys, and shut the door. As you can see here, you guys, all the different trims you can see at the door. Really nice what they've done with the interior. Let's go ahead and put on our seat belt so we can get going on a test drive very soon here. So guys, I'm not gonna flood you with a lot of you know tons of everything little, but we have of course a four inch screen here in the middle between your two analog gauges. Uh, that gives you a little bit of information here as you can see guys, um, will pop up the vehicle, turn on. Uh, let's go ahead and say, okay. We got a digital speedometer here and we go back. We got, you know, of course, all kinds of things, information, trip, PCM, all kinds of things that you have here uh, for the controls. Of course, this also has a lot of, um, you know toyota sense technology that keeps you in your track you got um lane keep assist blind spot monitoring you also have active radar you know lane keep assist automatic you know a braking for that or you know also all kinds of things pedestrian connections all new the new technology that toyota has they have put into this uh new tundra so all right guys coming here to the middle of the uh screen here of course 14 inch screen if you don't have this one you know the other screen is an eight inch uh, that's standard with the models. This is a 14 inch, that's basically standard on the limited and the ones above. Um, as I mentioned, there are six trims, you know, the capsule is the top ones and the 1764 version as well. That's one of the more top, you know, trims that Toyota has for this, this Thunder model. But this is well equipped. This is uh, pretty well equipped. You got cool seats, heated seats, you know, all kinds of amenities, the screen, the sunroof, of course. So um, the, I'm sure this thing also has some options, but this is a, the, the uh, going back to the screen, excellent graphics uh as you can see this has got phone we go back to, this has got you know we're doing 13 miles per gallon gives us some history on the car and all that kind of stuff we go back to the menu of the radio we got the series you can go ahead and scroll down it's got excellent touch uh this has got navigation as well so there we go guys we have the navigation here you can see you can touch it excellent touch screen here very very nice the feeling and you can get some more options on the traffic all kinds of things about so pretty cool um you know you've got of course you got your phone connections you get all kinds of things as well where you can uh you know do settings we got guests you got different things you can put with your bluetooth preference and notification wi-fi this is also a wi-fi hotspot you can turn it on they got all kinds of great things that you know vehicle customization all kinds of things as well so pretty cool the way this this in this uh 14 inch screen is integrated as you can see it's got a lot of technology um just below it guys we have the dual sound ac so you got your seat cooler so as you can see i got my seat cooler run right now because we got a pretty pretty mild day today in here in florida uh dual sound here we got both seats heated and cooled we got your volume knob here which is a really good size as well to be easy to control we got a usb connection here for either that for information or, or charging Coming down here, guys, we got a trailer control. We got your view camera, which is, look at this. This is really cool. We have a 360 degree view cameras here on this Tundra. As you can see, kind of gives you a pan around, kind of like a movie little thing with the the way though that moves really cool the way that is we'll get to see them using just a few moments we got traction control off hazards we got also this truck is also option off with air suspension in the rear uh if you just kind of give it once the truck is going to lower this is basically to if you're going to carry a load this will stabilize it by resting the suspension with air so that's pretty cool you can do it manually or you can do it 
uh, with just an automatic. Um, I don't know if we put that up or down, but um, this is really cool feature. So of course we got wireless charging. My phone is charging here, as you can see. Uh, we do have your parking brake here and the hold for, for when you're doing stopping at lights. Uh, here we have your options up for drive modes. As you can see, guys, we're in sport. We can go back to normal and you can do echo as well. And that also shows us here on the screen as well, which is pretty awesome. We'll keep it in sport because that's just the way we are. We are a sports driving channel, enthusiast channel. So we got also tow and haul mode here as well. And cup holders, a lot of little cubicles here to put things. This is cool here. We got all this gets up here. You know, you can put this up. There's a huge bin here to put lots of things. You got coins, you got a couple of USB connections for charging. And you can bring this down in this little cubicle and just kind of slides away here as well, which is pretty awesome. Another same cubicle here. And of course, you got your rear um, water bottle holders there as well. Really cool the way everything is designed. We got some sort of uh, nice trim here for the dash. And coming up here, we got a pretty decent sized glove box. Really nice the way everything is designed. Of course, your panoramic sunroof is awesome. This whole thing opens. And uh, if you can see, guys, or oh, it's just the button that opens this thing up. You can lift it up or raise up to hold that. So it's pretty cool the way that is, guys. So we go ahead and close this up. You got your huge sunroof. You can, of course, probably tilt it as well. Here we got lights as well for that. And here we got the button for the rear window. If we can press that, the whole window comes down, which is pretty awesome. And, of course, you got your lights. We got, of course, more mirrors here for that. So it's awesome interior. Really nice. Very A lot of details. A lot of things that Toyota has put into this, uh, you know, Tundra. So really cool the way everything is i really like it really impressive truck uh you know to has come a long way they did, a, they did work hard to put a lot of engineering things and you know details and a lot of features and of course the screen is fantastic so all right guys let's go ahead and go out for a drive let me just adjust my seat a little bit so we got this has got just a regular you know v6 twin turbo 389 horsepower 479 pound feet of torque um driving the rear wheels so i would um, like to drive the trd pro 4x4 version of this for the off-road i think that's really cool looking of course the sequoia is going to have the same type of uh, interior and everything and of course everything's going to get upgraded more the more luxury you go to especially like the capstone's got the wood and all that kind of stuff so but this is a really nice interior also you can get a 12.3 inch digital screen that's also standard on the trd pro in the hybrid versions as well if i'm correct uh besides your regular 14 inch screen here so that's part of the option you can get as well the steering wheel feels really nice perforated it feels really good in your hands so all right guys let's go ahead and take this turn out for a ride for a ride so we're gonna put this in drive and uh let's go let's see how the turning radius is on this thing this is a big truck so i did it of course when i did the uh frontier it didn't turn the, oh man this is yeah this has got some yeah it's got a big turning radius too this is a huge truck so and you know driving the f-150 and driving this this the the predominance of the hood is much higher on this truck so it looks much more bulkier it feels like you're driving more like a semi <laughs> it feels pretty big it feels like the hood is more more up than you know than, than say an f-150 of course you got a toyota and nissan also that's you know the competitor to this but i think this has got toyota right now is going to be the, the competitor to beat but of course the f-150 is still the king of the trucks in some sort of sales uh, that's still a very good truck there's so many trims to that truck and remember now there's no toyota is the only full-size manufacturer that does not offer a v8 in their truck so there's no v8 at all available in their tundra so <clears throat> basically you're left with uh dodge chevy and uh ford um and of course you know Toyota ford dropped their diesel engine so you know but considering that you know toyota offers a hybrid version of this you know you have quite a bit of power this has plenty of power so all right guys so this thing that feels really good let's go ahead and get a little bit of a turn in here and uh oh yeah yeah you can feel the weight of this truck this thing is no lightweight by any means but it's very smooth the transmission is super smooth um i want to put it i'm gonna get on it a little bit I'm just passing all this traffic here but uh man this is, it feels super nice very refined and um all right let's give it a little bit of yeah this yeah this goes it's got some good power is it, is it near that does it have like a slight v8 sound to this it's really interesting the way i i think toyota's pumping some some basically some noise into the cabin via the the, the i don't know this sounds doesn't sound like a v6 would sound i don't know if i'm wrong or anybody else notices it but yeah this thing sounds kind of different that sounds like a sounds like a light version of a v8 i don't know it might be crazy but that's what it sounds like 
So yeah, this thing feels obviously this is not a sports car, but you know this thing it drives really well. The suspension is very supple. Um, the brakes feel very good. It's got some excellent brakes. Um, really nice uh, feeling to them. But uh, wow, very nice truck to be honest. Everything feels great. Big big screen here to your left hand side. I'm gonna floor because we got some traffic in the front. But what's up, cows? So uh, yeah, guys. So very good looking. You know, very nice riding truck. Um, of course, we're in sport mode, so it's holding some gear. And I can just I already felt the uh, lane keep assist kind of pushing me back here, my throughout the steering wheel. So. Um, so yeah, the Toyota Sense is doing this job of keeping you, especially in a, this is a big truck, so in a two-lane two -lane highway like this, this is, this is taking up the whole lane, so. Feels pretty intimidating, but yeah, this thing, this has got a V8 rumble kind of to it. It's kind of interesting though, to think that it's got a V8 rumble to it, but it feels very nice. The torque is really nice. I mean, 479 pound feet of torque is nothing to, to you know, to write home. It's really pretty good impressive amount of torque um, you know the one I rode this morning the 2.7 liter from Ford has got 400 pound feet of torque it's got another 79 pound feet and the uh, the hybrid's got five is it 30 something six yeah so it's got a lot more torque this thing calls this thing is pretty quick so no slouch at all and uh, very nice it's there's not much of a wind noise at all pretty quiet cabin quiet engine everything quiets down pretty pretty nicely um, and this cat's very nice no rattle nothing super quiet nice 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 and supple ride um, I do find the seats are not as comfortable as the ones in the F-150 if I'm feeling it correct um, obviously this is the mix of that you know of uh, the, the yeah oh there's the, the yeah there's the lane assist there working for me but uh, not very nice this is a very nice yeah the seats are not as comfortable as they are in I think as the M150 I don't know the soft text material is not as I don't think it's that super great so but it's not bad but yeah this is an excellent truck nonetheless very nice so you did an excellent job um, I really love the screen everything's at your fingertips here and as you can see we got that start stop we just turn off the engine right now we're sitting on the light for gas saving you can definitely turn that off here via the button here below I will now we just keep it off anyway we're saving some gas here but um it turned back on so all right guys let's go ahead and let's get on in a little bit here oh yeah yeah this thing is pretty quick it's no slash at all no slash at all sir <laughs> not at all pretty nice pretty nice accelerating truck to be honest wow yeah, it's got plenty of power. I can imagine the hybrid having a little extra torque, and I feel a little bit quicker. But man, this thing, you know, for I know this truck's probably around the 5,200 pound area, so it's no lightweight. But uh, this engine feels plenty powerful. And for towing, I think it's got plenty of torque to tow. I think I have no problem at all with this, even with this engine. Uh, you know, this twin turbo V6s are really the powerhouse for for towing and the way they just accelerate. So very good, very good feeling power plant from Toyota very happy for the yeah that's a good this is a good truck really good truck i'm sure yes i know my dear i'm out of the clean i'm sure toyota's gonna have some good competition for ford nissan and chevy uh and this thing that feels very refined very nice truck the quality is there um you know very nice i, I think toyota did uh, an excellent job in terms of the, the quality it's got the materials uh just a little bit of wind noise now that we're going a little bit higher speed but it's not not anything uncharitable the seats feel really nice the cold seats are feeling excellent right now uh, since it's a little warmer here in central florida so but wow very impressive huge mirrors um you know the light the sun this seems like the, the the windshield is a little bit smaller than the ford i got a feeling to it because the hood seems higher so the belt line seems a little higher than the ford so but still an excellent truck nonetheless i'm glad i got to drive this new 2022 Tundra now this one here guys is an unusual spot this is a semi-used Toyota Tundra uh, which is not easy to find right now probably um, you know especially a limited amount of this nice um, you know this midnight black Toyota Tundra is, uh, you know it's right now they're asking sixty thousand dollars so and uh, you know want to give a big uh, shout out to Barto Ford thank you to Barto Ford for allowing me some time with this Toyota Tundra and to Randy as well uh, super nice truck guys I mean it really is super nice the way this is 
got a one touch winner here for this um very impressive truck i mean yeah it's it's not as you know it's a little different than the f-150 in terms of big feel this feels a little more bigger more a big of a big truck uh but let's go ahead and guys and check out the rear view camera since we didn't have a chance to check it out guys i kind of got into the test drive here so but it does feel a little bit bigger it does feel a little bit heavier than the f-150 to be honest that's my thing but all right guys so here we got really nice most of the camera as you can see a very clear picture super nice you can see the 360 degree camera here doing a fantastic job and obviously the beeps are going to start going off in a few moments here there we go but let's go back to the front guys here i'll show you guys so the the, the beep stops here guys we have little various modes for cameras here all your guidance for here we got a front camera as well we got the side view mirror camera so as you can see guys looking at the sides looking at the rear as well and we also have a cab or a you know cargo bed camera as well here as you can see fantastic look to this huge camera and uh, of course coming out here we got the sensor we got guides and all that kind of stuff that turns off so really a lot of great camera angles super nice to view all this you know camera so we'll put it back out guys here so really cool i mean really nice the way this toyota tundra is made i really like it very nice driving truck lots of power um it does feel a little more intimidating to drive since it's a much bigger truck i think it's a little bigger than the f-150 um but you know it's the toyota did a fantastic job in terms of the technology the screen looks like, great all the materials it, it, there's good quality in this truck uh seems a little bit better in terms within the ford f-150 that i just got to compare this morning uh this definitely has a little bit more quality material feeling uh this one here is the same type of plastic here that we put on the trucks but overall on the rest of the design very nice so let me know what you guys think of this new 22 toyota tundra if you have an f-150 if you guys know what do you think of it or if you owned one what do you guys think of this tundra and uh let me know guys on the uh, on the details below thank you so much guys for viewing this review with me here in the toyota tundra have a fantastic day and uh we'll catch you on the next one guys take care bye bye